Okay, so welcome, welcome everybody. Today is January the 10th, 2021. It's a new year already. And this is our second channeling for the new year. And um, when I was tuning into this evening, this is um, the, the, the vision I have was someone meditating and levitating as well. So that's why I uh, created some graphics to match what it is that I saw in my vision. What does that mean? I don't know. I just know that the when I tune into the energy of this channeling, this is the image that I was given. So let's begin by just going into a short meditation. And then um, the channeling would start. So Welcome again. Let's all start to come here. Just, I know you all tuned into this. However, just tune into this, not just with your intention, but also be here with your body, your mind, your soul, all of you come into this moment. And to assist you in doing that, let's just use our breath. Everybody just use your breath to help you come into the present moment. And just concentrate and focus on your own breathing. Breathing in easily and effortlessly. And when you can breathe in no more, then let go. Breathe out and just continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing for a little bit. And as much as possible, let go of any thoughts. Should any thoughts come in, then just don't try to resist it or fight it. Just allow it to pass through without any resistance, without trying to get any attachment to it. Just allow it to leave. And go back to focusing on your own breathing, breathing in and breathing out. with the intention that you allow yourself to become more and more relaxed. Relax your body. Relax any notion that you need to be doing something. You're just here to relax, just here to be with yourself and with everyone else on this meditation and channeling. And then start to focus, shift your focus to your heart. Just think of your heart. Think of the beating of your heart. And wherever it is that you put your focus, there your energy will go. So shift into the energy of your heart. And when you're in your heart, feel this sense of ease, sense of peace as well.
set the intention that you want to invite all parts of you, the physical you, the energetic you, all parts of you, to become synchronized, harmonized, aligned, and in coherence with each other. And when you're feeling coherent, feel that column of energy that is starting to become stronger and stronger within you that links up your heart where your soul communicates with you. And also link up with your entity. Where your tummy is. And also link up with your third eye, with your spiritual energy. and feel that column of energy going beyond the top of your head to link up with your higher self so that you're in alignment with your higher self, all parts of you aligned with your higher self. And breathe. Breathe in, breathe in the spiritual energy of you. As you breathe in, Imagine that you're breathing in, into your heart. And your heart is in the middle of your being. Allow yourself to be connected again with all of you. Allow the physical body to be linked up with your emotional body, with your mental body, with your spiritual body, with all parts of you. All coming together in one coherent package. Remember, remember who you truly are. Who you truly are is eternal essence. Your physical body is actually within your eternal spiritual body. You think you are having a physical experience. That is an illusion. Your physical body 
is simply a means for you to experience a certain reality, a certain kind of reality. or I should say a certain kind of made up reality. You don't really have a body. You have the illusion of a body. You have the illusion of an experience. We would like to remind you that the real reality It's the spiritual you, the conscious you. Your body is within your consciousness, not the other way around. Think of your body as a television set. It receives signal and allow you to tune into different channels. But it is just a tool. It's a tool that your consciousness created in order for you to have the illusion of this experience. I want to invite you to now step back. Instead of focusing on your physical body, is to be the observer of your physical body. That does not mean that your physical body is inadequate or somehow not as important. It is very important. It is the reason why you come here is to have this illusion of a body, to have this experience through your body. We're just suggesting for you to not get lost in thinking that you are your body. You have a body and you are so much more than this body. You are the universe. You are a star. You are light. You are joy, light, love. You 
your eternal essence embodied. An eternal essence made a choice to come here and experience the illusion of a body. Be the balance. Be the balance so that you can shift from body to spirit and from spirit back into body and not be lost in one end or the other. Your body is important. Your body is the focal point of you being here is to experience through your body. And having this experience in this particular body is simply one of many other aspects of you. So enjoy your body, enjoy the experiences that your body gives you without getting lost in your body and know that you have the option because of who you are to be able to step back and adjust your experience. You are the magician. You are the creator. You can create reality to be as scary as you want it to be, or as enjoyable as you want it to be, or as heroic and adventurous as you want it to be. You are in the driver's seat. There is no right or wrong way to do it. We're just suggesting to remind you that you always have the option of adjusting the level of excitement that you experience with this body. You have only just begin to explore all the miraculous capability, capabilities of your body. Your body is capable of so much more, of being able to affect people around you, maybe not consciously, but unconsciously.
you're affecting people. Whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not. Choose. We highly suggest you choose. How are you going to affect the people around you? Because you're always communicating with everyone, everything, whether they are other playmates or whether they are a tree. or any other animals. You are always communicating with them. What do you choose to communicate with them? That is your choice. That is always your choice. Let it be a conscious choice rather than be an unconscious choice. Consciously choose. Consciously choose to be the best example of who you come here to be. You reach deep within you. Be with the spirit you, the spirit part of you, the most authentic part of you. Make friends with that part of you. That part of you is eternal and does not change. The world may change, your experience may change, your body may change, but that part of you, the spirit, the divine spark within you, that does not change because that is the authentic you, the you that you come here to discover. You think you came here to do what? To be a light worker? No, you came here to discover the light within you. And everything else is simply a byproduct of that. You came here to remember what that feels like, even when you're experiencing this world through your body. You came here to unite the body with the spirit.
spirit and body coming together as one so that what the spirit is thinking, the body also knows, the mind comprehends, and the emotion body can feel the passion. You come here to do that, to unite all of you, not to come here and experience your body being disconnected from the spirit. You came here to unite. to find that solution. How to be eternal spirit through your body. The even through your body, you will be able to do the things the spirit already knows how to do. That is the real reason why all of you are here. To unite, to unite yourself. to learn how to unite with everyone else. Because only the body is separated. The spirit, our spirit, all of our spirit is simply one, just one not two or three, but just one. And that is why we here. To experience that oneness through our body. Our body has been conditioned to be disconnected. Disconnected from our spirit. Disconnected from one another. No more. It is time we stop the disconnection, it is time. It is time we unite, we feel that unity within this body. So that there is no difference between the body and the spirit, we can act as one. When the body and the spirit are completely aligned, what the spirit can do, the body can do as well. When a spirit can bilocate a body, can bilocate as well. And a spirit can be everywhere and everyone.
the body can be that as well. That is the journey. A journey from disconnection, from this trained, socialized, to be disconnected. We start to remember, to remind the body that there is no separation. There is no disconnection. That this body, this disconnection is simply an illusion. A powerful illusion that we have created. And because we created it, we can also discreate it. That is our journey. That is what we are here to do. That is why you picked this planet, this interesting planet at the most exciting time. All you adventurous soul. You can pretend that you don't remember. You can create that illusion and you're completely disconnected. And you completely think that you are this vulnerable body that needs to eat. Needs so many things. It's so fragile. That was a magnificent creation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Have you bottomed out yet? Have you played within this illusion long enough yet? Have you gotten all the fun out of this yet? We're not judging. We know that when you are ready, whenever that may be, when you are ready, you can start to back out of this creation, back out, and discreate, and remember that this is simply an illusion, a most elaborate, magnificent illusion. Imagine eternal essence, completely forgetting, creating the scenario that you forgot that you can do so much more You completely convinced yourself that that's, that's not true. I'm this vulnerable person. 
that I have to put a mask over myself, stay home when I'm being asked to stay home, only eat food. I can't go out and get my nourishment through the sun and through the environment. I have to go through this archaic way of eating pre-digested food in order to nourish my body. That was quite a magnificent creation. We applaud you. Feel free to be in this illusion for as long as you wish. That is your choice. And when you're ready, you can drop that illusion and start to unite. your body with your soul and your spirit again. The invitation is an open invitation. It is your choice and you are loved, you are supported, no matter what you choose. You are unconditionally loved. Your eternal essence embodied, you are love. And no matter what you choose, you will be loved unconditionally and supported unconditionally. We want you to feel this unconditional support unconditional love from spirit, from us. And this is what we would like to leave you with, our unconditional love and unconditional support we love you very, very much. Words cannot express, cannot express what unconditional love truly is. It's not something that language has been able to capture yet. We simply want you to feel the unconditional love and support that we have for you. And for you to know that you're not alone. 
You have never been alone. Oh, your spirit family is with you all the time, connected with you. Whether you can feel them or not. We just want to leave you with this unconditional love and unconditional support from family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>